achievement 21 times, 14 times in the half million and above. The Circle of Excellence seven times with her unit and earned the top director trips to Hawaii, the Greek Islands, Cancun, an Alaskan cruise, Thailand, Switzerland, and France. And that's not all. As a Mary Kay National Sales Director, she earned trips to Sydney, Australia, the British Isles, Maui, Hawaii, Milan, Italy, and the Greek Isles. She has earned 16 career cars, 13 of them the prestigious pink Cadillac. Top 10 director in Canada seven times. The number two director where she achieved the $800,000 Circle of Excellence in 1996. She became a national sales director in 2007. She is presently a global national sales director with consultants and sales directors in the Philippines, consultants in Hong Kong, Mexico, and the United States. Her career earnings, excluding sales, are in excess of $2.4 million. Please put your hands together from Toronto, Ontario, Elena Carmenigo. Prayers are very powerful, so I'm here. <laughs> Anyways, um, while I see so many familiar faces, it's so wonderful to be here in, in your beautiful city in Vancouver. I do have a lot of friends. After all, I've been in Mary Kay over 30 years, right? And so um, they're the boss, so they told me to tell my eye story. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you. When I signed my beauty consultant agreement 32 years ago, some of you probably were even born then. <laughs> I never would have imagined that my little part-time business would lead me to a dream life, a dream life of financial freedom, flexibility, and fun. How many of you like to have fun? <laughs> well, you know what Mary Kay told me? The more fun you have, the more money you make. Are you gonna have more fun now? <laughs> Mary Kay once said, when you truly love what you do, then you don't have to work for the rest of your life. She also said, find something that you love to do so much that you would do it for free. Then someone else will pay you very well for it. How many of you can honestly say that you're having fun and that you love your Mary Kay business? That is awesome. Before Mary Kay, I was an unhappy, stressed out mother of two young children, exchanging my kids at the Toronto subway with my husband as we took turns babysitting our kids. We thought at first it was a smart thing to do, not having to pay for a babysitter. So we took different work shifts. I worked an early morning job as a secretary, and my husband took an afternoon evening shift in the bank. Every Sunday evening was a depressing and sad time for me because I knew I was going to have to wake up again really early in the morning to the job that I didn't really like. Can any of you relate to my story? As Les Brown said, it was like a refrigerator hitting you every Monday morning. He also said that most heart attacks occur on Monday mornings. <laughs> with people who dreaded going back to jobs that they don't like. So you know what I did? I prayed. It was really early that one morning I prayed for God to show me another way of life. I said, God, I had a better life than this in the Philippines. Show me another way. I wanted to stay home with my children, 
Yet I also needed to make an income because I knew we could not survive on only one paycheck. You know, many months after that, that was in a winter morning, I forgot about my prayer. But obviously, God did not. A few months later, I got invited to a Mary Kay beauty show, we used to call it beauty show, <laughs> in the office where I work uh, in downtown Toronto. She offered to give me a free facial, and if you know me, if it's free, it's for me. <laughs> it's free? <laughs> sure. So when the beauty consultant turned over this big flip chart, way back we had a huge flip chart, and I saw a picture of Mary Kay, my heart stopped. It was as if an angel, Mary Kay was alive then, so it can't be her. It was as if an angel told me, Elena, this is what you've been praying for. It just clicked just like that. I was so excited, I kept you know, doing my facial. And I said, oh my goodness, maybe this is the answer to my prayers, right? So at the end of the class, my beauty consultant said, so what would you like to order? And you know what? I pointed at the table. I said, this, I'd like to order this. How do you get to do this? <laughs> and you know what? She said, oh, you can't order that. She said, well, how do you get to do Mary Kay? She said, oh, you need to see my director. End of story. She did not want to recruit me. <laughs> so I said, oh, maybe I'm not good looking enough. I look at her. She was blonde, blue eyed. Well, not against any blonde and blue eyed. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't want to rec uh, I don't know. She said that, that was the end of the story. So that was it. That was, I was really was disappointed. But she said, so what would you really like to order? <laughs> and so I said, oh, what is this I put in my face? I want all of it, right? And um, so I bought the basic. And maybe it was a blessing in disguise because I really loved the product. My own boss even said, you look kind of radiant. You look, you know. And because I had very dry skin at that time. And so um, I liked the products. And it wasn't until a few months later that my beauty consultant went back to my office and said, weren't you interested in Mary Kay? I said, I was. I said, but you didn't want to recruit me. She says, I changed my mind. <laughs> she did. You changed your mind. And she said, I want to invite you now. I want you to meet my director. Yeah, that, her name was Lyra Thaxton. I, I will always be grateful to her, but you know, she, she, she didn't stay on. She didn't even know I became a director for that. However, that night, I knew why she wanted me in. Because when we went into the, to the meeting, it wasn't as big as this, the director was said, so who had a guest here tonight? And of course, the girls put her hand, I have a guest. And so the lady said, don't forget, our director said at the time, Anyone who signs up a new consultant this month gets to, to win this beautiful pearls. So I nudged her, I said, now I know why you want me in Mary Kay. <laughs> and you want those pearls, right? And she was very honest, she said, yes, I want those pearls. You're going to sign up, right? <laughs> this is true. So my life in Mary Kay began with a string of pearls. So thank goodness she invited me in. But you know, I got cold feet. I signed up that night, but I hung on to my agreement until I told my husband, you know what, honey? I think I'm going to go into a business. I'm going to sell cosmetics. And he said, what? You know, and he's an accountant in the bank, so he said, what are you going to do that for? He said, I'm going to tell you why you're not going to succeed. He said, number one, you don't drive. Number two, you don't wear any cosmetics. <laughs> and number three, you don't know anybody. So what makes you see you're gonna what makes you think you're gonna succeed? But you know, I was so mad at him that day that I said, you know what, honey, it's too late. I already signed up. <laughs> the next day I handed him my agreement. <laughs> But I told like, my recruiter, you know, don't put it in, don't put it in. But my husband, thank you to Roy, who, who really motivated me to join, right? <laughs> this is true. So I have uh, an advice to anyone whose husband is, is, you know, you're not so sure if you're going to ask permission for the guest here. 
I'm going to tell you that it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. <laughs> the reason why she didn't want to recruit me in the beginning. Because she wanted to give a facial to every woman there in the office. She knew how profitable the business was, you know? So like my recruiter, I did not want to recruit. Monkey see, monkey do, right? I said for fear that if I recruit some of my customers, I'm gonna lose them. I'm gonna lose a lot of money, you know? So I told Daryl, I'm not gonna touch anybody here. I'm gonna offer facials. But we were on the penthouse, which was about, I don't know, 50 floors. And so I went to, to the bathroom, the ladies' washrooms on all of the other floors. Does that make sense? <laughs> Every time I went to the bathroom, I would meet ladies there, of course. Right? And how many of you remember the pink palette? We had this gorgeous pink and eye palette. The first side was three color lipsticks, the other side was three color eyeshadows. Every time I would pull it off, just pretending I was going to you know, <laughs> put my makeup on, everybody would say, oh, that's so pretty. That was my clue. I said, oh, look at this, this is Mary Kay. And they would always say, Mary Kay what? Because that was the pioneer days, right? So nobody really knew about Mary Kay. So that's what I did. And I said, you know, you want to try these products? I'm going to meet you here same time tomorrow. <laughs> and I, honestly, ladies, because remember, we were exchanging kids in the subway, so I couldn't do any Mary Kay at night. And so I would meet that lady the next day, give her a quick, quick facial, give her a, a lip color, and sold my products. So during lunch break was one of the most profitable time in my working time because I was out there selling. So I feel sorry about ladies who say, I just don't have the time to do Mary Kay. I didn't have time either. I had a full-time job. I had two small kids. Where would I have time to do Mary Kay? But this is the psychology. If a woman really wants to do something, wouldn't you agree? She's going to find a way to do it. Right? Okay. My first goal Ladies, I wasn't a big thinker in the beginning. You probably thought, wow, you know, look at her accolades. But my first goal was to only make $50 a week. <laughs> right? And uh, I thought, if I can make $50 a week, I can buy new shoes or nice clothes with it, even without my husband knowing. Because <laughs> he'd always just say, you can't afford that, you can't afford that, right? So, um, and then, the perfect start at the time was you had to do five classes in one week. I know right now it's two weeks, right? So, so how can I do five classes in one week? You know, with Monday to Friday, I couldn't do it. But I say, you find a way. So what I did was I did all of my first three classes in my home. I knocked, and this is what I did, because I didn't drive, remember? I knocked on my neighbor's doors, and I asked them, I'm offering all the ladies in our area a free facial. Where would you like to have your facial? Your place or mine? I didn't ask, would you like to have a facial? Because what if she says no? Where are you going to go from there? Right? So your place or mine? And if they want to come and see my home, they always say, oh, I can come to you. I have a number unit 75. There were rows of townhouses. And if she has a nice house, she always says, you can come to my house. So, Either way, guess what? I had a booking. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. Right? But um, I booked three classes right in my own home that first weekend. And ladies, this was my aha moment for me. Because remember, my goal was only to do, make $50 a week. 